Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for uh, Aries. This is going to be for June 2023. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, you guys, I started posting readings on my TikTok page and also my Instagram page. So if you guys are not following me on there, um, the links for those uh, platforms are in the description box below, okay? So uh, Aries, tell me about Aries here. What's going on with Aries in love and the person that they are connecting with? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for June 2023 for Aries. What's going on with Aries in love? All right, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, there's fear, there's anxiety here. A sense of feeling stuck. Yeah, okay, so I feel like someone here is stuck on the past. Someone here is stuck on an ex, hung up on an ex here. So either you're hung up on an ex, you're having a hard time letting this person go, or that this person's heart, uh, having a hard time letting you go, okay? Uh, we have the Death card, Scorpio energy here. We have the Three of Swords, wow. Something ended here. Like, I feel like someone, like, I feel like the, this ending had to do perhaps with some sort of dirt third party getting involved here, okay? But I just feel like, yeah, someone here cannot stop thinking about an ex. The Knight of Cups here and the Hermit here. I do feel like someone here is trying to come back around. Someone here is trying to approach you. Maybe someone here is trying to apologize. But I just feel like you're just, uh, you just uh, completely distanced yourself from this individual. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Hermit, Virgo energy here. Yeah, um, so what we have here, I feel like you're wa you walked away from this individual, okay? This individual that you walked away from, you found happiness here. We have the Emperor here and the Eight of Cups, okay? It's kind of like you're happy that this ended, okay? With the Nine of Cups here, with the Strength card here, I feel like you're trying to rebuild yourself. Get back on your own two feet here. Leo energy with the strength card here. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords, the Hermit, and the Six of Swords. This is an individual that is unable to move on without you. This person's stressed. This person's anxious. This person's losing sleep. This person could be coming to this realization that they, they, they messed up here. They messed up here. Six of Swords. All right, tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aries for June 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Venus signs. <laughs> Eight of Wands here. Wheel of Fortune. So this person wants to come back around. This person wants to rekindle this relationship here. This person wants another opportunity here with you. So I feel like you're about to receive a lot of communication from an ex here. But I feel like you just don't give a rip here. Yeah, you just don't care. Uh, four of Cups here and the Six of Cups, because like I said, you moved on, you're happy, you're good with where you're at, uh, you don't want this person back, uh, or you could be dealing with someone here who's very emotionally immature that this person could be a bit delusional too, okay? Um, Four of Wands. We have the Empress. Libra Taurus here. We have the Empress of the Empress. Uh, so it could be a situation that you're dealing with a low vibing Empress here. If this Empress caused all this, because I I I feel like you're that you're, you're that Emperor right there, Aries. Okay. So whoever this is, this is an individual that wants to rekindle this relationship. You know, interestingly enough, I do feel like this is a person that has changed their behavior here too. Yeah, this person has changed their behavior here. This person's going from a knight to an empress. The Eight of Wands. 
We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, the Wheel of Fortune here, and the Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, uh, you're about to receive unexpected communication from the past here. Uh, perhaps you thought that this person was long gone. Perhaps you haven't heard from this person for a year or two, and this person still to this day misses you. Okay, and I feel like this person with the Eight of Pentacles here and the Wheel of Fortune in the Tower has changed. This person has changed, and I feel like this person wants to prove that to you. The Four of Cups here and the Justice card, Libra Energy, the Two of Cups. This person is looking for marriage here. Yeah, this person is looking for commitment. This person's going to prove to you that they've changed. They're going to prove to you that they learned their lessons here. Justice card, Libra Energy, the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. Tell me the Four of Wands here, the Queen of Cups. And... Um, the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This person's spying on you, okay? Like I said, this person's still in love with you. This person's definitely watching you. This person wants it all. They want another chance here with you. But I feel like, yeah, you're just not really... You just don't care. You just don't want to talk to this person here. King of Swords here and the Hangman. Um, tell me about the outcome and advice here for Aries. Outcome and advice here for Aries regarding their love situation. What else does Aries need to know, look out for, work on here? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for May 2020, not May, June 2023. Knight of Swords here and the Four of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles here. Ugh, this person is not going to get what they want. Knight of Swords here and the Four of Swords. You're going to shut the door on this person. Yeah. Um, this person, they're, they're definitely getting their karma here by you doing this. Yeah, the shoe's on the other foot. Now they, they basically, they feel the pain that you're feeling here. Okay, Two of Pentacles here and the Three of Pentacles. They still want to work things out here with you. Yeah, they want to do whatever they can to work things out here with you. But yeah, the shoe's on the other foot. This person's definitely facing their karma. You just don't want anything to do with this person. Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups here. I feel like this person is regretting or disappointed in themselves for exploring other options here. Okay. Yeah, this is an individual that you just don't want to deal with anymore. You just know better not to deal with this individual. I mean, it's great that this person has changed, you know, but I just feel like you just don't want to go backwards here, uh, Aries. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Ten of Swords here, and the Two of Wands. It's kind of like now this person's like, what do I do? I mean, there's nothing else that they could do. It seems like you're putting your foot down here, Aries. Tell me the Two of Pentacles here. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Three of Pentacles here, and the Page of Wands. I mean, you're definitely blocking this person out. I mean, you're definitely seeing this person in a very negative light here with this uh, um, uh, with this uh, Devil here, Aries. Yeah, you're total. You're you're totally done with this here with the Knight of Wands and the World's card because you're happy with where you're at. You're enjoying your life right now. Uh, you just don't want to go backwards. So, Aries. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.